welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming something I love to film and something you guys seem to love to see on my channel and that is a Zara haul. I absolutely love shopping at Zara and I feel like they have so many good pieces throughout all of the seasons as well. So these are sort of springy pieces, there's some pinks, there's some patterns, there's some florals. So I think you guys are gonna really love this one. I have slightly changed up my location. I'm in a little different area of the flat. I'm still in our kitchen living room area because the light is so good. We have so many windows up here, which is also why you probably will be able to hear the torrential downpour which is going on right now. Can you hear that? I do apologize if that is distracting. It's winter, it's London. It's gonna be rainy every day. So without much further ado, let's get into the video. So the first item is a jumpsuit or dungarees. I guess you could call these dungarees too, but I'm going with jumpsuit. Um, and it's this really nice blue checked pattern. It has like some button detailing on the front and just a really straight top half of this with these little straps. So you could wear this with nothing underneath. But I feel like that would be quite summery. It does look quite cool though with nothing underneath and you could wear like some nice jewelry, but I would probably pop something underneath it for the winter, like a long t-shirt or a shirt or a blouse. But for this video, I use a kind of bardo style top with some flared lacy sleeves. Actually on that sleeve, I think my dog has been eating the sleeve, so the sleeve is fully ripped. So that's probably gonna have to go in the bin. I didn't know that before I filmed this video. So I do apologize for the massive rip on my sleeve. Kind of a wide leg. They are quite nice and tight towards the top, so it's not kind of, adding on inches to your thighs, which I sometimes find jumpsuits can do. They can get too flary where it looks like you've just got these massive legs. These are very nice and straight, so it just makes you look like you have long, slim legs underneath there, and it's really elongating. Really easy daytime look. This is gonna be a really good spring piece, and um, yeah, really good for kind of the not so warm months, because you can put whatever you want underneath it, and then as soon as it gets a little bit warmer, we can start changing up the tops that we put underneath. So the next look was with this really nice silky shirt shirt with it's got like stripes and floral detailing on it i really like this kind of silky shirt but what I wanted to do was pair it with the matching trousers. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know what happened when I received the Zara order. So I was trying it all on. I wanted I wanted this shirt and the trousers to go together and have a kind of matching co-ord piece. Silky, shiny, a little out there. These trousers I ordered in a size small. The label says small. This is how big they are. That is not a small. Like, I put those on and they just fell straight to the ground. And I know Zara sizing can sometimes be a little crazy, but I'm pretty sure that whoever sewed the label on was severely hungover, drunk, or out of their mind, because these are not a small. So that is extremely annoying. I honestly couldn't even try these on for you because they don't even stay up. But they could be cute. They're kind of straight leg, I would presume. So without the trousers, I did still want to show you this shirt. So I paired it with some kind of shiny, kind of leather look trousers from Mango in a bright red color. They sort of go with this stripe here, which looked quite nice. I probably wouldn't keep this shirt by itself because my idea was to have the trousers with it. So I'm probably gonna send this back and then order both of them together because I just wanted the look that I wanted. So yeah, I just paired this shirt with my Mango trousers, some Topshop ankle boots and a Baker Boy hat. The Topshop ankle boots I'm really loving. You probably will have seen them in a recent vlog where I bought a couple of things from Topshop and I absolutely love them, so I will leave those linked down below as well if you'd like to get your hands on them too. Okay, so the next item is a jumpsuit. Looks a little fun like this. It gives me kind of pajama vibes. It's got like kind of white around the collar and then down, which kind of looks like pajamas. I really love this one. It's got like kind of tropical print. It's dark. This will be really good for spring. It's also really good, you can put stuff underneath it. I just love jumpsuits all year round. They're just such an easy outfit. It makes you look like you've put together your outfit, but really you just put on one item. I'm all about the easy, but statement pieces. So you just pop a jumpsuit on, it looks like you've made a massive effort. I do love the kind of pajama trend that's out there at the moment. I find sometimes I can literally look like I'm wearing pajamas because I'm not too shapely, they can just hang. But because this jumpsuit has a tie waist, it's kind of like, it looks like pajamas, but it's obviously not pajamas. Yeah, I would wear these with some ankle boots and I actually got a bag from Zara and it's this like wicker round bag. I love this. I feel like this looks a lot more expensive than it is. How much was this? It says 25 euros. Well, I don't know why they do that, but it's 25 euros. I will obviously leave everything linked down below, um, but it has this crossbody strap and it's kind of like a wooden handle. So cute. I'm actually going to Monaco next week or probably when this comes out, I'll be in Monaco. And I'm hoping to take this with me. I think it will fit a lot of good stuff in it. But next up, I'm always looking for more trousers because I have plenty of tops, I have plenty of jumpers, I have plenty of dresses and jumpsuits, but no trousers. So it's a bit like, 
what do you wear this with? So um, I'm always on the hunt for cute trousers that I like and if I like them I'm like I have to get them because it's rare. So these ones have a really nice thick waistband which I do love they have this little like pink buckle they're obviously this gorgeous pink color they're very straight legged and a tiny bit cropped which I like they're very similar to my mango buckle trousers which you guys probably will have seen many many times the thick waistband really hugs you in your waist and it gives you a really nice silhouette and then the straight leg just elongates and makes you look very elegant and long and slim and they're not too baggy because sometimes I can find if things are too baggy it just makes me look like some tiny thing in huge trousers which also it's not the vibe I'm going for. Just paired it with a blouse. It's a bit too puffy with its own sort of waistband going on, um, which doesn't sort of correlate with the trousers. But I just wanted to show you the vibe I was going for. I'd like to wear a normal shirt with that. Over the top, I just popped on this pink coat. I would probably wear these two together, but with a more plain top underneath. I really like this. I think it's just a really easy coat to wear. Definitely something for the slightly warmer month. So as soon as we get a bit more spring weather, rather than this torrential downpour. Um, I will start wearing this a little bit more. Light blush pink color with little buttons here. It's got pockets. I think you can pop the collar up. And yeah, I just think this is quite a versatile little coat. It's perfect for spring and will look so good over a variety of colors because it's quite a neutral pink. And I just paired that with this little bag, which I just think is the cutest thing. I just feel like Zara does cheap bags that look so much more expensive than they are. I think this is quite a little statement bag and I really, really love it. Little wicker basket vibe going on perfect for spring and summer that we're coming into the final thing i bought let's take the plastic off um are a pair of like you know the thin cat eye glasses i'm really sorry my hair is growing at a rapid rate i'm trying to grow my hair out into a little bob i bought these and i think i really like them let's try and get the hair to do something ignore the label what do you guys think? I kind of like these, but I feel that they're not the kind of glasses you can actually wear. Like, I feel like that might be, I think they have to sit here. Um, but I don't think these were expensive. 15.95 euros. I want to know in pounds. I'm very in at the moment, the tiny glasses trend. Yeah, I said my New Year's resolution was to buy more glasses and wear more glasses, so. I like these, I think they're cute. That brings us to the end of my video. I hope you guys liked this. Do give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with what I'm doing over here on my YouTube channel. I do apologize if you can hear the rain outside. It is so loud, so I am sorry. I will try and leave everything linked down below where I can and I will see you next time.